Welcome to Rediscover the Verde Valley. I'm Christian Oliva Del Rio. I'm your president and CEO for the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce. And with me today, I, today I have a returning guest, uh, Tracy Shimakowski. Uh, we all introduced you to Tracy a few months back. Yeah. And uh, Tracy, you've been doing some wonderful things for the chamber as our chief of operations. Mm -hmm. Um, really have taken us to the next level. I think it's one of the smartest moves I ever did in my chamber life the, was to hire you to come in and help me. Welcome. It's been a good thing, Christian. It has Thank been you. a very good Thank thing. You. I've really um, enjoyed working with you. Uh, it's been awesome. Um, Speaking the same language, uh, I That's think we have helpful. a lot of the same uh, ideas and, and, and goals and plans that we want to take this, this, this chamber to. We do. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to talk all things chamber. Um, let's give some of the viewers out there a little bit more information about what it is exactly that the chamber does, mm -hmm. um, uh, why we're here, and right. um, how we plan on staying here <laughs> and being relevant, right? For a long, long time. It's 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 something that a lot of chambers are facing is um, right. maintaining and being uh, relevant within the community and uh, being a good part of business, small business, and um, taking them to the next level, right? Absolutely, and I mean that you, as you mentioned, relevancy. You mm -hmm. know, it has to do with business trends sure. and watching. You know, the economy and and learning new things and right. you know attending. And how do we best? Um, suit our, our members, right? right and, exactly. And benefit them, huh? For sure. So uh, let's start out. Hey, we started talking a little trivia before we really got into this. So um, right. I gave you a, our first test question was... Did I pass um, or fail? <laughs> well, you, you, you pretty much passed. The very <laughs> first Chamber of Commerce that was created was in... What did I say, like 1600s you, you or something? You said 15, 14, 14 15, 15, 16, so 1600s. 1599. Okay. And it was in Marseille, France. And you said Europe, somewhere I in did. Europe. <laughs> so France was the first chamber of commerce. And, uh, Isn't that interesting? That is interesting. So, you Dating know. Back hundreds of years. Yeah, you know, in my own mind, the way I like to think of why they may have done it, you know, the Knights Templar were the ones who formed the first sure. banks, right? And right. so it made sense that there was commerce and we needed mm -hmm. a way to, to deal with commerce and, and government. And uh, which led us into the next question was why or when was uh, the first uh, United States Chamber, the Chamber of Commerce of the United States? 1800-ish? <laughs> <laughs> 1912. And it was President Taft that oh, wow. suggested that there needed to be some form of cooperation, national cooperation mm -hmm. between the business community and the government. And they formed the first chamber in the U.S. Which works really good because we're an unbiased, right. you know, nonpartisan mm -hmm. um, organization. A voice of small business. Exactly. Right, right. Mm -hmm. and, For um, sure. Yeah, so it's important. So why do we exist, right? This is exactly what we're we're talking about here. So definitely, yeah. and we exist for a lot of reasons. Right. Um, first off, we exist to be the catalyst mm -hmm. for business growth. Right. Um, we exist to be the convener mm -hmm. of leaders and influencers. Right. And the champion for a stronger community. Right. Yeah. But how do we do that? Yeah. How do we? How do we do that? <laughs> um, we do that through our program of work, right. um, where we, you know, promote the community, mm -hmm. where we represent, you know, businesses with government, mm -hmm. um, where we network or provide networking opportunities right. so that other businesses can meet. Right. You know. Right. Referrals. Right. Uh, Definitely. So business to business referrals mm -hmm. as well as business to end consumer referrals. Yes. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for our, our small businesses and our members to do that through our website right now. Right. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So, and, as, and that doesn't cost them anything. Does it? I mean, so that's part of member, their membership. member deals. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and just uh, hot deals is the other um, promotions that they can do through our website. Right. Yes. Right. And press releases. Right. And employment postings. Right. Volunteer so, opportunities as well as job opportunities. Yes. Right. So yes, there's sure. a lot of um, great information there, too. So, Which is all part of their right. annual dues. Right. So more as to why we exist. So we, we talk advocacy, right? So Correct. So what is it that we do? Uh, you know, I've, I've heard around town that Chamber doesn't always step up and take a position. Why well, is that? <laughs> well, uh, well, and the reason for that is typically the membership is split. 
So rather than picking a side, mm -hmm. we will go after what is best for business. Right. So this way we are remaining, you know, nonpartisan. Mm -hmm. um, we're not selecting one way or the other, but we're looking at an issue and saying, how does this affect the businesses overall? Right. And what can we take from that mm -hmm. um, to be able to advocate for them? Right. One of the ways we advocate is by signing on the Arizona Chamber Executive's legislative agenda. Correct. For the entire state. Right. So we are members of ACE, which mm -hmm. is Arizona Chamber Execs. Uh, we attend their annual conference every year, but throughout the year we are in constant communication. Mm -hmm. uh, there's roughly 50-something chambers, I believe, I believe that so. belong to the ACE in Arizona. Correct. Um, and so we're, we're getting um, updates about mm -hmm. the legislation agenda and, okay. uh, and, and which issues we feel, um, as a collective in the state, right. feel benefit, uh, you know, rural businesses, um, um, metropolitan businesses, whatever. Um, but we get input from all these chambers all over the state and we're able to then form an agenda that we then take down uh, to chamber day mm -hmm. at the legislature and present right. to them, right? So, exactly, Yeah. exactly. And, it, and it's nice to have a well-rounded agenda. Right to where you know it's not just Balanced, we try metropolitan to... area exactly. because there are a lot of rural areas mm -hmm. in Arizona that are affected by some of these <clears throat> excuse me legislative you know things sure. that take place right it's a little bit different uh, you know one of the other areas uh, that we've been kind of working on especially in the last six to eight months is the uh, AHP right was Correct. that uh, association healthcare plans right right and um, so we were able to pull together, again, through ACE, we were able to get all of the uh, chambers in northern Arizona, mm -hmm. and we formed an organization called NACA, which is the Northern Arizona Association of Chambers, right? Did I get that all right? Not a <laughs> chamber Association or Alliance. Or right. <laughs> well, we totally Something. hacked that one, but... <laughs> I tell you, I can't. But that organization is pulled <laughs> yeah. together with roughly 13 chambers in right. northern Arizona that are trying to form together to be able to get health uh, care for our chambers and for our members of right. each of those chambers, right? Exactly, because some of these, and a lot of our members, you know, are under the 50 right. mark, so it makes it very More expensive right. for them to have insurance mm -hmm. or affordable, some sort of affordable insurance right. for their employees, and this would allow that to happen. Right. We're just waiting on some... We're a little bit uh, dealing with a couple of judges uh, yeah. that are not so sure that it's the right way to go, but it right. looks like it's moving forward, it's moving yes. in the right direction. So, again, these are the kind of things that are happening in the background that maybe people don't always realize that we're, we're, we're doing, right? Exactly, and we are getting better mm -hmm. at keeping- Letting people know that. Our membership informed of those right, things. Right, so. Um, so moving forward, we are going to be working a lot more on press releases and, and shows like this to get the information yes. out, or radio, you're doing a radio spot too mm -hmm. nowadays. And, social media. Right, and social media, so we're keeping that information going. So um, let's move into, um, you know, so we know why we exist. Uh, how do we operate? How do you know? How are we funded? How do we? Well, the chamber is comprised basically of two different components. Mm -hmm. So we've got the membership side, mm -hmm. you know, that is operated by or funded by mm -hmm. membership dues, mm -hmm. fundraisers, which yeah. are also some events that we do. Right. But you know, there's other events that we do that also help you mm -hmm. know um, keep the chamber going in that regard. Right. Um, there are add-ons that members can can do, like sponsorships and things. Sure. Um, you know, to where they can get enhanced listings. Right. But that's the chamber that's side the of things. That's the chamber thing. world. Right. right. That's right. the chamber world. We also have our tourism mm -hmm. piece, right. which is a service contract agreement with the, the city. city. Right. And those funds are specifically earmarked. Right. They only have for to tourism. Be used for marketing and tourism, mm -hmm. uh, economic impact. Right. 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 Exactly. So, um, yeah, so uh, it's a little challenging and is a little it bit is. of a balancing act for it sure. Is. Um, you know, uh, um, Lana and I had a really good thing going in that she was able to focus on the tourism part of it, and I focused a little bit more on the internal, mm -hmm. right? And, right. Um, and and we've kind of gone back to that. So we I've, have. I've been a little bit more involved in the tourism portion of it, and you've been handling the chamber world exactly uh, for us. So. Um, 
you know, let's let's share a little bit on, you know, fundraisers uh, events. So we actually have a pretty big one coming up, don't we? We want to Our give annual a little, dinner? Yeah, <laughs> our annual dinner is one of our biggest fundraisers. Correct. Um, that is taking place on January 24th, 2020. Okay. At the Moose Lodge. Yeah. So we'll be returning to there. And we're doing, uh, what is it, steak or steak dinner? We are doing prime, prime rib. rib. Wow, nice. Yes, yeah. and chicken. And, of and course, it, there'll be a vegetarian option. Right, prime awesome. Rib. So, um, you know, that's also uh, the time when we will be um, installing the board for 2020. And right. we've had a couple little changes for this year, right? What we have. We've, we've talked about and, and decided was that uh, we, we were at sitting at a 15-member board. Yes, we were. And it was a little bit... Um, the challenge was, you know, individuals having time or right. being able to have the time right. to attend. So it's we important struggled. we all have jobs and we all have businesses we're exactly. running, right? So, well, yes. Yeah, so yes, it's, exactly. it's a little bit difficult. So we've actually reduced the number down to nine. Yes. Right? Uh, yeah. We had a couple of our um, board members that had to resign and, and move on to other things right. that they're doing. So that actually gave us an opportunity to downsize a little bit, um, be a little bit more focused, huh? Mm -hmm. So, Definitely. So um, we'll recognize, you know, yeah. our board members that are that are stepping off the board right. uh, for this year. Right. Uh, we also recognize our volunteer of the year. Exactly. Um, That'll so be we'll exciting. be working on that. Right. That'll be fun. <laughs> the theme is actually a winter wonderland. So yeah. it's going to be a casual yet elegant affair. So you can, you know, dress right. accordingly. Right. Um, you don't have to, you know, dress right. up unless you really want to, but you can. Sure. You know, you can come in jeans and a nice shirt if That's you really right. wanted to. Yeah. So, it's so a I little can bit dress down. Yeah. Yes, you can dress down. <laughs> I think I'm always dressed down. No, no. <laughs> so, be fine. what about tickets? Uh, they're thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars each. We right? did not change and, the price. Right, and uh, we should have those available up online pretty soon here. Actually, huh? everybody can go online they right can. now uh, and yeah. and begin to make their reservations. Wonderful, wonderful. For sure. Um, we're also looking for sponsors. Right. So those sponsorship levels run anywhere from two hundred and fifty to a thousand dollars. Yeah. Um, all kinds of great things come with it. Right. Um, we're also looking for live auction and silent auction items as sure. well as door prizes. Yeah. So excellent. Want to you know businesses yeah. wanting to get and, their name out there. Right. And and anybody that uh, uh, may want to come to the annual dinner is invited. It, you don't have to be a member of the no. chamber in order to come. So that's also it's open to the public. And mm -hmm. we've had wonderful guests that have come to the annual dinner because it's, it's always a, a great meal for sure and a lot of fun. There's always games and things to do and great networking opportunity there, right? It's a great so. time to just spend with people from the community. Right. But it's not just community here. We, yeah. we draw in people from, you know, the other side of the mountain, up north. It just all depends we on do. where they're We do. Our located. membership isn't just Cottonwood. And so when we come back from our break, because yes. we're going to take a quick one. Wonderful. We'll talk a little bit more about that, okay? Yes, all absolutely. Right. Wonderful. We'll see you in a minute. This is Bruce Morrow, Transportation Manager for Cottonwood Area Transit. Remember, we cover the entire Verde Valley in Sedona. Cottonwood Area Transit has you covered wherever you want to ride in the Verde Valley, all day, every day. Take Cottonwood Area Transit through Clarkdale, Verde Village, and from 26 locations in Cottonwood. With Verde Links, it's a quick and easy trip to Sedona every day. Don't forget our connectors to Camp Verde. Visit CottonwoodAZ.gov for Cottonwood Area Transit and take a seat. Let's go ride! There are people who struggle with addiction and homelessness. Sometimes it may feel like there is nothing we can do to help. But there is. You can make a tax-deductible donation and help those in need transition away from homelessness. When you give someone a handout, you could actually be supporting an addiction. A better life starts with better health, especially for those living in the streets. Support solutions, not addictions. You can make a difference. Visit cottonwoodcares.org. Welcome back to Rediscover the Verde Valley. Again, I'm Christian Oliva Del Rio. I'm the President and CEO for the Cottonwood Chamber. And with me is my Chief of Operations, Tracy Shimakowski. Thank you, and, Christian. Uh, yeah, thank you. We, we've welcome. been talking uh, all things Chamber here. And, and right before the break, we started talking a little bit about, you know, we are the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce, right? right. So 
But, but <laughs> we're not just Cottonwood. No, we're not. We are Verde Valley. We are statewide, mm -hmm. in all honesty. So sure. um, tell us a little bit about our membership. Um, well, our membership is very diverse, right. as we know. I mean, we could have anywhere from associate members, which are just our individuals. Who, right, you so know, you don't have to be a business to nope. be a member of the chamber. You do not. Why would you want to join the chamber if you weren't a business? To support your community. Right. To support your chamber that supports your community. Give back to your community, mm -hmm. right? Exactly. Yeah. And, and you know, I've met lots of people that have actually just moved here. They'll mm -hmm. join the chamber to meet new people. Exactly. Right? And yes. it's, it's, I mean, they come to our mixers or our events and mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's great. So I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Oh, no, you are perfectly <laughs> fine. You are, you are perfect. It's quite all right. It's quite all right. You know, from you know, nonprofits to, right. you know, banks to, um, Service industry, I mean, our, the, the gamut is mm -hmm. very broad mm -hmm. as to the different types of memberships that right. we have. Right. And so, but we are 500 members strong right. and growing. Yeah. And that's, great. that's exciting. We've always got new businesses coming in, mm -hmm. new businesses joining. But just to kind of give you an idea, yeah. in Cottonwood alone, we have three, over 300 members. Mm -hmm. Um, there are Cottonwood businesses. Cottonwood businesses Cottonwood, right, in right. located in Cottonwood, yeah. physically here. Right. Um, Camp Verde, we have 23. Wow. Yeah. Um, Cornville, 21. Yeah. Rimrock Lake Montezuma, three. Right. I mean, you know, we've got some great businesses yeah, over there. Yeah, they're spread out all over. Even Absolutely. Sedona is members. we got 35. We right? do. And, and we're actually members of their chamber, and they're members of our chamber, and we support each other. Which right? is usually yeah. the case with all chambers. Yeah. So most chambers nearby will right. be a part of another chamber so that they cross-promote. Yeah. You know, I was uh, reading, as I was looking up my trivia questions for you, <laughs> you know, the, one of the questions was, uh, can I belong to multiple chambers? Absolutely. Yeah, right? We actually mm -hmm. encourage that, especially if you're doing business in multiple areas, right? It's great to support that local yes. chamber that is in that, that particular municipality that you're working with. So. Well, and each chamber has a different program of work. So mm -hmm. as the saying goes, right. you've seen, seen one, one chamber, chamber. You've, you've seen, seen one, one chamber. chamber. <laughs> <laughs> so what offers, you know, what offerings yeah. Conwood has is gonna differ from Di what Sedona has. Exactly. So, right. you know. So, um, you know, one thing I really enjoyed about getting into the chamber world was how, how other chambers worked with other chambers, right? right. And mm -hmm. um, so, you know, one of the first things I learned was about R&D, right? Um, <laughs> rip off and duplicate? <laughs> rip off and duplicate. So <laughs> chambers are very willing to share <laughs> their information. Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, with other chambers, mm -hmm. with other businesses. Uh, geez, we just had some people, folks over from Camp Verde, the Camp Verde Business Alliance, that were exactly. talking about reviving their chamber. and. I was honored that they came to talk to us. Me too. And uh, you know, we're we looking provided for them with a lot of information, so they wouldn't have to reinvent the wheel. Exactly. I yeah. mean, so you help you know, out your other partners. That's exactly what I think when I see the chambers. Not just the chamber community, but it's all communities. Right. We are the Verde Valley, although we are the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce, and we represent Cottonwood business. Mm -hmm. uh, we realize that um, all ships rise with the tide. Exactly. And uh, we are all in this Verde Valley, and it's um, it makes sense for us to work together and promote each other, right? Well, and we leverage. Right. So we can leverage dollars sometimes yeah. that way too yeah. when we have those partnerships like that. Yeah. You know, it's from excellent. A, especially from a tourism standpoint. Right. So let's talk, why why should people join? And uh, I believe we got a value sheet here that we can talk a little bit more. We do, and usually the first comment, you know, when somebody says, why should I join the chamber? I right. don't have time. Yes. You know, and right. you don't necessarily have to have time. No, you don't. Um, you know, we also talked about uh, membership uh, value without involvement. Exactly. Right? And there's a lot of things that... There is. Your membership entitles you to that mm -hmm. uh, you don't necessarily need to be... Um, so if you think about it, the base membership is $200 right. annually. Right. For a business. Right. You know, a nonprofit's a little bit less. But that value is almost $1,200. Right. Because they're getting all of these things, a business listing in the directory. Yeah. Um, a website listing sure. with their link. Mm -hmm. um, they can take a little bit of their membership dues as a tax deduction. Usually it's under a marketing, marketing expense. Marketing expense, exactly. Right? But you should consult your tax accountant on it, that. Thing. For sure. Right, right. Um, Chamber Master, so that's our business, our business our database. database. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they have a directory list in there. It's almost like your mini website. 
you're Definitely. listening with in there. And mm-hmm. that, that was a couple of things that, uh, you know, I had a few members that came in that hadn't had their website created yet. And uh, oh. it w- they were actually using their, their online uh, e-brochure through our website as their, you know, because it does connect to social media. It does. And uh, it does link to a website if you do have it. Mm-hmm. But there's uh, an about section in there and uh, general information on how to contact you and connect you. But right. they can also request referrals or information through our listing. Yes. Right. So huge benefit. And then right. they can add on. Right. So they can uh, take an enhanced listing right. for a little bit extra. Right. They can do a category sponsorship that mm-hmm. gets their logo and a link to their information. Yeah. And they can also do a complete sponsorship. So right. those vary anywhere from 100 to $300 right. annually along with their You're annual dues. dues. Right. Mm-hmm. So it's a pretty uh, minimal investment when you're looking at it over the year. Right. For a almost $1,200 value, you know, mm-hmm. in, in Definitely. what you're getting. So. Uh, which is an investment not only in their business, yes, but it's an investment in the chamber, right, and your community, and your community, because right. we're, you know, promoting the community. We yeah. are involved in the community, right. So, um, one of the areas that we are um, moving toward mm-hmm. uh, marketing and, and marketing the chamber is uh, the three C's. Right. right. So tell exactly. us a little bit. Tell us a little bit about the three C's. So this was rolled out just a few years ago. So mm-hmm. the Western Association of Chamber Executives mm-hmm. went through a branding program, and they worked on developing a program that a chamber could take and then adapt it mm-hmm. to their community. Instead of it being, you know, so narrowed, this right. is very broad. Right. And so with the three C's, which mm-hmm. is the catalyst, convener, and champion, mm-hmm. we can take those and then utilize what we have here and right. how it works for us. Because mm-hmm. how those three C's work for us are gonna be totally different than how those three C's work maybe down in Phoenix. Right, Right. exactly, exactly. But part of that is also the core competencies. Right. Because which we kind of touched on those we in the did. very beginning. We did. So you know? let's 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 uh, talk a little bit more about the core competencies. Sure. So because so, they all go hand in hand. They there, do. there are core things that we know that all chambers do or mm-hmm. should do, right? Exactly. And, and so that's what we kind of try to base ourselves or our foundation on, right? So, right. Right. So. So one of those is creating a strong local economy. Right. And how do we do that? How do we do that? Through partnerships. Right. Through the Arizona Commerce Authority. Mm-hmm through Arizona Chamber Executives. Through the Office of Tourism. Exactly, right? Um, just to name a few. Cottonwood Economic Development Council, the CEDC, mm-hmm. we're starting to do some, some great things with them as well. So, right, right. Definitely. Our partnership with the city. You have a Pi College. Right. So Local first. Exactly. I mean, when yeah. you think of those things. It's amazing. So what else do we have? Promoting the community, mm-hmm. right? And so again, there's the way we do that is we have our community calendar. We have our official visitor center. Right which is the first stop right. anybody should be making exactly. when they first come into town. 849 Cove Park Parkway, Place, Sweet, Sweet C. C. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we need to take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, let's talk a little bit more about that, okay? Sounds good. All right, we'll see you in a minute. This is Bruce Morrow, Transportation Manager for Cottonwood Area Transit. Remember, we cover the entire Verde Valley in Sedona. Cottonwood Area Transit has you covered wherever you want to ride in the Verde Valley, all day, every day. Take Cottonwood Area Transit through Clarkdale, Verde Village, and from 26 locations in Cottonwood. With Verde Links, it's a quick and easy trip to Sedona every day. Don't forget our connectors to Camp Verde. Visit cottonwoodaz.gov for Cottonwood Area Transit and take a seat. Let's go ride! There are people who struggle with addiction and homelessness. Sometimes it may feel like there is nothing we can do to help. But there is. You can make a tax-deductible donation and help those in need transition away from homelessness. When you give someone a handout, you could actually be supporting an addiction. A better life starts with better health, especially for those living in the streets. Support solutions, not addictions. You can make a difference. Visit cottonwoodcares.org. Welcome back to Rediscover the Verde Valley. Again, I'm Christian Oliva Del Rio, your president and CEO for the Cottonwood Chamber. And with me is Tracy Shimikowski. She's my chief of operations and master of everything here. 
<laughs> no pressure. No pressure. None, none, none at all. <laughs> so right before the break, we were talking about our core competencies, right? right. What every chamber should be involved and engaged in, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, creating the dream a strong... would be everybody is a, is a member of the chamber, Absolutely right? Absolutely right. But you know, it, it, it it's not for everybody. And I know no. the chamber gods would strike me with lightning, but it it, it okay. isn't. It's not always. Not always. Um, although we see benefit to it, mm -hmm. we could probably show you benefit to why you should yes. join, but we understand if, you, if you're not a member, we it's will okay. still help you and support you because right. that's about right community. promoting in community, community right? right? And that's exactly. what we're about. Exactly. And we are. We are the voice of business. We are uh, the advocacies for business. So we provide networking opportunities. And again, you don't necessarily need to be a chamber member to come to those things. No, uh, you do not. We would definitely love for you to join if you mm -hmm. see the value in that, right? Right. So, uh, represent the interest of business in government. So we, we, we try good. to do our best at that. Mm -hmm. um, we, we always try to show both sides of a position. We do. And allow the member to make their own mm -hmm. educated decision, right? So It's all about information. It is. It's about, yeah, getting that out there. So, you know, our, our program of work and um, our um, plans for 2020, 20. you oh know. Boy. Um, we've had <laughs> We've had a lot happen in this last year. We did. Um, and I'm looking forward to moving forward with you in this next year. So, um, you know, tell us a little bit about what, 2020? Your, what your plans are for 2020. <laughs> well, ideally, we would like to roll out some tiered dues. Right. So this would eventually replace the current employee count mm -hmm. um, right. where it's kind of like an a la carte. Right. Where a, a member menu, can, right? a menu where right. they can go, oh, yeah, that fits what I really right. need from what my I business. What I really want out of mm -hmm. the chamber, too. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yes. Right. So, so we'll have different levels. Yeah. Um, you know, some about three levels mm -hmm. on, on the lower end, so right. to speak. And then we'll have a couple of higher end sponsorships that, right. you know, include events and, and other right. areas. So it's a package deal. So let's is. say, so it includes your dues, but it will include all of these other uh, benefits that we've been discussing all morning, right? Right. Is, you know, your listing in the directory yes. online and all these things. Mm -hmm. Plus with the higher levels, you do get the enhanced listing, which gives you a little bit more right. information about your business. Right. But we also will do package deals for sponsorships. So let's Correct. say there's four events in the year that you want to participate and sponsor, right? Um, we wouldn't be coming back and hitting you four times no, for a sponsor. Would a, we would do it right. one time, and yes. you just know that you know you're going to be represented at all these different events, and it just makes it so much easier and cleaner. I it think, does right? make it a lot easier, mm -hmm. and then that way we know who is you know interested mm -hmm. in sponsoring which right. events. You know, we'll have a couple different packages mm -hmm. and be able to tailor it. Right. You know, to meet. What yeah, our businesses whatever are looking needs, for. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and then that's the other thing, too, is that somebody could come in and potentially just do the basic membership. Right. Right. And mm -hmm. then maybe they want to invest in a, um, a, a an event or something right. else to get some more mm -hmm. advertising, right? Because those events, you know, they do get things like uh, newsletter inserts and exactly. tickets and, right. you know, right. other coverage that isn't part of those mm -hmm. initial, right. you know, three levels. Right. Mm -hmm. But that we could also work out within our tier dues, um, just kind of sparked a, we're talking about wrap up here. Right. Because I got Ryan in my ear talking to <laughs> but, I know. But we, we you know, uh, there are a lot of other benefits or, or, or opportunities, I yes, should say, for are. members like the newsletter, right? Like exactly. putting, uh, like business card ads, like mm -hmm. putting inserts in the newsletter. Right. And those are all kind of things that you could still do the basic membership and invest in those other areas to help market your your business a little bit more. Definitely, and I would say you know to our listeners to stay tuned and watch yes. you know information that's going to be on the website or through the chamber newsletter because right. this will be rolled out um, publicly that way. We're talking about uh, rolling this out to the general or, or new businesses. New businesses. I should say mm -hmm. new members uh, sometime first in the quarter. first quarter right. of this new year, um, and we are on a fiscal year, so we start in June, right? Right. So, uh, um, we'll start talking to our, our current exactly. members about switching that over mm -hmm. and working with them on that. So Definitely. Great. Well, you know, a lot of exciting stuff. So look more for the three C's and information yes. about your chamber here. Uh, one thing that you and I were talking about that um, I think is very important to get out to the people here is that our door is always open. It is. Um, we belong to the membership Mm -hmm. and the community, mm -hmm. our, our chamber. And, right. uh, you know, if there are things that you want to see coming out of your chamber or things that you want to discuss, 
Um, I would recommend maybe calling <laughs> and trying to make an appointment That's with us. Yes. But uh, our door is out. open mm -hmm. and, and we're not always in the office. So, you know, we, we would love to talk to you. We would love to hear from you. Definitely. And, um, you know, it's about community, it's about partnerships, and it's about it is. Um, growing and um, doing what's best for our community. So, yes. Uh, we want to hear from you and um, appreciate your Thank time. You, and um, always excited to looking forward to 2020. Me too. So it's going to be good. Yep. We're going to be rocking and rolling. <laughs> All right, folks. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we'll see you next time.